suicide bomber attacked a mosque within a police compound in Peshawar. Most of the worshippers were officers. As many as 150 have been injured. Secretary of State Antony Blinken arrived in Tel Aviv today and urged both Israel and Palestinians to ease tensions amid a spike in violence between the two. Blinken spoke after meeting with Egyptian President al-Sisi in Cairo. Egypt, like us, is a stalwart believer in the negotiated two-state solution, the only path to a lasting resolution of the conflict. Lincoln will meet with Prime Minister Netanyahu, whose new right-wing government includes members opposed to Palestinian statehood. The Eagles and the Chiefs are headed to the Super Bowl. Yes, Billy beat the 49ers 31-7. Eagles QB, Jalen Hurts. The atmosphere tonight was amazing. Um, the fans showed up. The energy, all of it. So, need to bring that to AZ. Kansas City beat the Bengals 23-20 in a nail-biter. Utah Governor Spencer Cox has signed a bill into law preventing doctors from performing certain procedures on trans children. CBS's Wendy Gillette. The legislation will block minors from receiving gender transition health care. Republican Governor Spencer Cox says it's needed until more research is completed on the long-term effects of gender-affirming surgery. Sue Robbins is on the Transgender Advisory Council with Equality Utah. Really sad. I'm heartbroken for our transgender youth and their families. Schools closed in Woburn, Massachusetts today because teachers have gone out on strike. Among them, Eric Scarborough. It's unfortunate that we have to do this, but you get to a point where you get pushed too far. Salary increases, the main sticking point. And if you're looking to get an older Hyundai or Kia insured, you might have a problem. Both Progressive and State Farm are refusing to write policies for models manufactured between 2015 and 19 because they are too easy to steal. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news, today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these Dash Cam News Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye-bye, everybody.